well designed play well thought out As you see Gerbach looking over for the next play a lot of drop balls Alexander's had a bunch Howard dropped a key one a couple of plays ago third two third two 31 seconds. Devo right on the numbers. The tight end just turned back the look, and as he looked, the ball hit him right between the eight and the three. Ball was there a little bit quicker than he thought. He had he was jammed. He got jammed by the linebacker. The ball gets there awfully quick. It was a good throw. Yeah, he didn't see it till late. Now they need a first down. Three yards. Fourth down, 27 seconds. This time, Vaughn steps out of bounds and gets the first down. In a two-minute drill like this, you want to fill two places, one over the center, which they've tried to do several times, and the other is to the sideline, which they've done with Vaughn. Vaughn that time got out of bounds to stop the clock. 22 seconds and first down Michigan at the Michigan State 28. Stopping the clock, they're letting the first down stop it. First and goal from the seven. Ten seconds. In the corner, Alexander, touchdown, Michigan! I think they go for two. He takes this the last time out to talk about it. Six seconds to play. What do you say, Bo? Do you go for two? He's home watching this, or he's probably locked in his office. I talked to him yesterday. Well, the Wolverines are in the timeout, their last one talking about well, what they're There are some coaches. Well, if you if you go for the tie, you're playing for the Big Ten title, right? Exactly. You go for two to win, you're playing for the national championship. Well, that's something around here they've never worried about the national championship. Right. They've always said we want to win the Big Ten and go to the Rose Bowl. The national. Let's listen in. They're going for two. They're talking about blitzes. The play was already settled. Now they were just talking about what might have happened with blitzes, blitzes and everything. They're going for the win. An incredible Big Ten football game. And I think Gary Moeller in his, in his, what, fifth game as University of Michigan coach is doing the right thing. The number one right Yale Van Dyne is lined up in the backfield. He's a wide out. Yeah. You got four wide receivers. Defensively, you got a blitz. Howard oh, got it. Dropped it. He dropped it. He dropped it. Howard dropped it. Just a little slant. He starts to the outside. He gets, he gets, he gets tripped up just Trip. a little bit there. It's still right there in his chest. 
Even though he was stripped, the ball was still right in his chest. You know, does he have it long enough to, for it to be a catch? No, no. That was slow motion the first time. There's the ball. Does he have it long enough that it is a catch? There's a wide look, bottom of your screen. That may have been a catch. Brown tripped it, no question about it. Eddie Brown tripped it. Does he have possession? He has possession, I'm sorry. I mean, in, for it to be a catch, you have to have, you have to have possession and something on the ground. It's not like the pros where you have to have two feet clearly on the ground. Right. Let's take another look. He's held there, tripped there, but still the ball is right on his chest. He cradles it. Can we play that at, at, at regular motion? Slow motion sometimes distorts the thing. If we can play that at fast motion, because if he had the ball when he hit the ground, the ground does not cause the, the fumble. We'll take another look. It's a judgment call, though, Bob. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's certain. No, there's, it's, it's over with. Party's over. Yeah. When you, it's, yeah, that's what the official saw. And when you leave, when you leave the, uh, when you, when you don't make the play and you leave it in question to the official, you, you're up to their decision. And, They've been right on most of the calls all day.